I'm gonna wash myself out down by the river. Gonna wash myself where the river flows. Gonna tell my friends to all join in. Gonna tell them all to come. I'm gonna hold the hand of my aunt's daughter. Gonna hold her close. Gonna hold her tight. Gonna talk about our memories. Gonna talk about her life. What shall keep me from basking in the sun? Patience restore my way. Life begins. Today. It begins with an ending. The ending of one of our theater family members, Frankie Ray Baker. I met Frankie, I believe it was my eighth grade year. When I was in the sixth grade. Seventh grade year. Okay, I believe she was a middle school student. My sixth grade year. It was the summer of my sophomore year. The first time I held her in my arms as a newborn. She seemed like something that didn't belong here. Like, some, someone from some kind of super intelligent, super creative planet and just so happened to like find a way here. I don't know. Frankie was like, how do you explain it? A, this bright light. She was joy. She had this fierce kind of love and a way of looking into people to find what was best in them. She was brilliant and funny and so kind. Something was different about her. Ray didn't really like saying goodbye ever. Uh, it was typically just a see you later or I'll talk to you later. She kind of hated goodbyes in a lot of ways. One thing I just from observation that was very special about Frankie uh, was humanity. She was special to everybody. We all went through dark times and we had a light. It was Frankie. Then, when we lost our light, we clung to each other. Darkness you can roll over, you instill. is part of living. Uh, we will all exit this world at some point in time. It makes you remember that these people that are close to us, that mean so much to us, um, maybe they just really don't belong to us. They belong to God. Uh, and that they've always belonged to God. They were just on loan to us. I didn't believe it at first. I didn't want to believe it. I was hoping it was some sick joke or something. I don't think I could ever forget that New Year's. I literally felt my heart break. I didn't want to believe it. You know, she she had so much life in her. And then the accident happened. I think I just ran. I just got out of the house and I started running. I just wanted to see her one last time. She was one of my best friends. She was a sister. We are more than a theater company. We are family. We held on tight to each other after losing Frankie Ray. She inspired us to be the change, not because of the way she died, but because of the way she lived. We choose love and understanding instead of hate and intolerance. We make it a point to love each other without judgment. After all, it is our differences that make life interesting. We will continue to move forward, one breath at a time, one moment at a time, 
one step at a time, being the change. My theater family, they were there with me from the very beginning. They were my new reason for being. Be the change you want to see in the world. Our theater family is definitely the change. The Eagle Theater Department is my family. The closeness of our theater family makes me feel accepted. I didn't know Frankie very well, but she left a huge impact on my life. Theater is where I can feel like myself and not be an outcast. To me, theater is everything. This is my passion and I love it. I'm going to continue to do it. <laughs> What is the soul? The soul is all of our emotions and feelings, the things that make us who we are. Our soul is beyond earthly damage. Emotional wreckage is possible, but our soul is our strength to overcome. Hmm. I guess the soul would be what we leave behind when we're gone. Our soul is what truly affects people, not our human manifestation. Once we're gone, the way we've affected, affect the lives of others, is a measure of our soul.